Marshall Trading Limited has a new owner. Goddard Enterprises Limited has acquired 100% of the shares of the former subsidiary of Arts Holdings, Inc. The agreement took effect from June 30th, but the complete transfer process should be concluded within three months' time. The hardware and building company was founded in 1976 and was a privately operated family business until December 2006 when it was wholly acquired by Art Holdings, Inc. According to Marshall Trading Director Hugh Blades, the company sees Goddard Enterprises as the perfect fit to take the brand to new levels of growth and competitiveness, and this is based on the synergies they can bring to the business through their regional hardware business. Meanwhile, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Goddard Enterprises, Anthony Ali, has given the assurance that they intend to continue the Marshall Trading operation with the full complement of staff and with General Manager Philip Mears at the helm, working with the new owners to take the company forward. Marshall Trading has three locations, Welch's in St. Thomas, Wilde in St. Michael and East Point in St. Philip. Lisa Lord for the Business Report. Thanks, Lisa. Well, the Financial Services Commission, or FSC, has a new Chief Executive Officer. Kester Guy, who was acting in the post of CEO since January, has been given a clear mandate by the FSC Board of Commissioners to head the local regulatory body. Chairman of the Commission, Sir Frank Allen, made the official announcement to staff earlier this week indicating that Guy had been fully endorsed by the commissioners as the right person to take the FSC forward. Guy is a career regulator and economist with an extensive background in research and quantitative analysis. Now, Before joining the FSC, his most recent post was that of assistant director at the Central Bank of Barbados, where he was also a senior economist. He has also held the post of CEO of Barbados Deposit Insurance Corporation and a senior economist at the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago. So let's take a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, Jamaica Broilers Group was the volume leader with 578,428 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, NTB Financial Group Limited was the volume leader with 65,988 shares changing hands, all for a value of $268,321.16. And here in Barbados, the Insurance Corporation of Barbados Limited was the volume leader, trading 1,752 shares at $3.72 each.